Hey guys, Herman from Alpha One Tactical here. So as I'm recording this, very excited that we're, um, we have an upcoming concealed carry combatives course with Tony Blauer and um, we're just over the moon about this. We're, we're, we've been trying to get him to come out and teach his class for a while. So why is this important? Um, one of the things that I tell all my students and when um, getting people that are just getting into shooting, getting into, into personal defense, and everything that goes along with that and you know concealed carry things of that nature you know I always make it a point to uh, have them understand that just having the gun just buying the gun just buying the holster and then just carrying it every day um, is not in and of itself does not make you safer if you don't understand that if you found yourself the target of a real world violent encounter that the odds of you being able to deploy that as your response to that attack are slim to none now you might be able to have the wherewithal to do a good um, a good presentation, good draw from the holster, and get shots on target relatively well. If you're present when someone else is getting attacked, but that's a completely different thing than if you're the one being ambushed. You're going to have to uh, weather the ambush. You're going to have to manage your fear, and you're going to have to make the time, space, and opportunity to deploy your complex motor skill or your complex weapon whether it's a knife, a firearm, whatever, uh, if you have some martial arts background, whatever, you're going to have to get to a position mentally and emotionally in order to deploy those things. And a lot of people just don't understand that. And that's why it's very important that we do some sort of combatives training, especially the proper type of combatives training as we're going to do here in a few weeks with Coach Blauer. So I wanted to take this opportunity to address some uh, kit issues. So if you come to this class, uh, one of the things that you're going to get is, uh, in terms of equipment, is going to be this uh, holster and inside the waistband holster and this dummy training gun. And so these are great. These are nice and cheap. And this is basically $20, $20, $40 set. And, um, and it's going to be good enough to do what it is that we want to do. But if you're really, um, if you're really serious about your training, which I hope you are, you really should have your own gear, and I wanted to go through different options just to get you thinking about this kind of stuff. Will this do the job? Yes. If you carry a Glock 19, 17, anything, that, that, um, that family of guns, this is very simple, very easy uh, to get into, and very cheap. All right? But if you have anything other than that, or you wanted something that was a little bit more realistic, because this is just pretty light. It does not mimic the weight of the, weight of the real pistol. Um, but it, it definitely is a one-to-one -one in terms of the shape and size and all that kind of stuff. But again, weight is going to be uh, significantly different, and it's also very nice and rounded um, edges, so you won't get your hands tore up or anything if you're doing some combatives. So again, this will definitely get the job done, and this is why, I mean, I had to buy about a, a dozen of these for, for training, and so this is what you would get. So what are some other things that you can get that are going to be a little bit better than that? And again, if you are serious about your own training, you should be looking at these options. So there are, there's a company called Blue Guns. This is not um, the color blue, but it's made by Blue Guns. They, they make them in different colors too. And these are basically one-to-one -one replicas like the other one that I showed you, but a little bit better quality, a little bit denser plastic. It is also kind of rubberized, still rounded edges, uh, so you don't get caught, um, cut up too bad. I did cut the, uh, the trigger guard off of this one just for safety. A lot of people, especially newbies, they still put their fingers in, in on the trigger inside of the trigger guard quite a bit. And so if you're doing combative disarms, that kind of stuff, your, your finger gets stuck in there, snap. You can um, break a finger very, very easily. So one-to-one -one replica, the weight is a lot closer to the real thing. I wouldn't say that it's exactly the same. They do have versions where you can order them where they are one-to-one -one in terms of weight. So that's an option for you. They have them in all different colors. The standard is blue, but they have them in black, so they look pretty real. Um, I don't recommend that for training, by the way, just because you always want to make sure that when you're doing any kind of combatives, non-live fire stuff, that it's red readily um, uh, obvious to anybody observing that it's not a live firearm. It's not a real firearm, okay? So this is great. This is a one-to-one -one replica of a Beretta M9 or 92. So this would go, if you, that's what you carry, that this would fit perfectly into your, your holster and you would be good to go. Now, uh, oh, the other thing I'll, I'll mention about this though, these are definitely not cheap. Um, so compared to the previous one that I showed you, 
which is you know 20 bucks these start around 60 to 65 dollars plus depending on when you find them you might find a better deal somewhere else so just do your research online and see what you can get um, these are a good option for if you carry something that's not very common that's a bit exotic um, blue guns basically make replicas of everything out there i haven't seen a pistol out there that they just don't have for it so this is a good option again it's going to cost you a little bit more but um, that's probably going to be or that might be the only place that you can get a replica for your uh, more obscure pistol or you know whatever it is that you carry a version of these that is just slightly kind of a one version below that are these cold steel um, training uh, guns that I that I bought on Amazon pretty cheap as well except I noticed that when I finally got them in that this is not a one-to-one -one replica so you will see that it's a little bit shorter um, than than the other one in the blue gun and then you'll also notice I don't know, know if this comes across in, on camera but this is definitely thinner than this one it's also lighter so I don't know that this is an exact one-to-one -one replica so if this was going to be uh, used with a holster it might not have that nice little feel of click maybe if you tightened it up a little bit more it might do the job but um, I haven't really tried it for this I just try I just use these for just straight combatives disarms that kind of stuff not going back and forth into um, a holster but definitely a cheaper option here you might want to just look into this a little bit more and make a call as to whether this will um, work for you and then lastly probably in terms of expense and um, and just being more most realistic it would probably be a, a certain gun like this this is what i've been using for a long time because i carried a glock 19 and 17 for a long time i have since moved over to a glock um uh, sorry a sig p365 x macro and i don't have a replica gun for that i'm in, i'm in the process of, of getting one from blue gun and so hopefully i will be getting that um, in before the class but I've been using this guy forever just because, again, I've been carrying this type of um, weapon for over a decade. And this has worked great for me because I also have the added benefit of doing some mock shooting here. I have a working trigger with a laser. And so this is um, something that I can use not just in combatives, but just for dry practice and all the different things. So the, the, uh, also the weight is perfect with, and also have a working magazine release here. The weight of the mag is pretty close. So with the magazine in, it's very, very close to one-to-one -one size and weight. Um, so this is, this is a great option. Now, some of the cons here are that um, because this is more um, expensive and that's the, probably the first one, it's significantly more than any of the things that I just showed you because it does more as well, right? It has the mechanisms, the lasers, the, the take up and the, um, and, and the, the break of the, uh, let me see if I can show you here, most of you guys. So that's the take up and then breaking the shot, okay? So that works, uh, trigger manipulation, trigger reset, all that good stuff. So if you have another system where you are also shooting at something else, so that it's gonna give you some feedback as to you know, speed and accuracy and all that kind of stuff, you can pair it with this. So again, more options. But again, that comes at a higher price. Um, and um, I also would not cut this out here, cut this portion out of the trigger guard for safety, just because this is a, a, a more expensive um, piece of kit. I don't wanna damage it that way. So you would have to be extra careful in making sure that by the time you or anybody else handling this is doing any of the shooting that um, there's enough time and opportunity, you're not still in the combatives you know, uh, portion of things and, and end up getting hurt. The other con, so this one is that does have a little bit sharper edges. So I have definitely torn up my hand using this for combatives. So one of the things that you might consider is using gloves if you're using something like a cert for your, um, for your combatives. Um, these uh, front sight and the rear sight are really, really sharp. And just a few other portions here, the, um, the mag release here, the corners are really, really sharp, very pointy. So again, just be aware of that. Um, as of right now, uh, that I'm aware, they have these in the Glock versions and in um, Smith & Wesson M&P versions, and I wouldn't be surprised if they've already, I didn't look this up before filming this, if they've already come up with maybe a P3, um, P320 version, or that if not, they're probably going to be coming up with one relatively soon. So these are the options that you have. Um, like I said, if you're if you're serious about your training, you have to mix in some combatives, not just shooting. 
And if, um, if you are serious about those two things, you need to have the proper equipment to set yourself up for success. So I hope this helps. And if you have any other options or any other ideas, leave them in the comments, let me know your thoughts. But if not, I'll see you next time. Thanks.